That's what I'm saying. I was about to say the same thing. I was about to say the same damn thing. What's with this man? Every time it's some sort of monument. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back. We're here with another certified hook classic known as Invincible. Uh, a a series here on the channel. It's one of actually one of my one of my first very first reaction series I ever did was season one of Invincible. So when I first started dipping my toes into reaction content, I was a little squirmy, wormy bean towards blood and violence, and now I crave it. It has changed me. I've been changed by this show. So let's get straight into it before we get started with the vibes. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quad. Stick around for more of my reactions here on the channel for a bunch of series from anime to cartoons to live action stuff. I started reacting to the boys. I'm currently on season three now. Seasons one and two are already up on the channel. I'm working my way through season three very, very slowly. But that means I can cover season four when it comes out. Anywho, that's enough about me. Let's get into this reaction. Yeah, check out the Patreon. Five bucks a month. You get early access to all my reactions. Unfiltered, uncensored, uncut. Never come. For others, it came. Graduation. What time is it? Summertime. I'm wondering if you're ready for this. For what comes next. Oh. You are. I look out at this class and I see hope. I see a bright. That's what I'm saying. I was about to say the same thing. I was about to say the same damn thing. What's with this man? Every time it's some sort of monument. Yes, he did. Do you know what this Known as lava? Magma even? He asked expecting some idiotic answer. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, Shoddy. The only thing being ruined around here is your busted ass hairline. Why got a little hair sticking out your head? Just shave it off, bitch. That is most buildings. He said, he said. <laughs> I'll be doing that shit too. I feel you, man. Honestly. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Everything else, we're taking back. Oh, now we got lava monsters. <laughs> I love me a good corny ass name, bro. I love me a good corny ass name. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes life hits you with everything it's got. <laughs> Uh huh. Without testing your limits, you will never know how strong you truly are. Oh, I hate that shit. Don't you ever tell. Mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. I get so many mo fuckers who say this kind of shit to me because of my health issues. 
And I'm like, I think I've been tested enough, bitch. I think I know my limits. I think they tested my mental capacity now because I ain't got it in me. I will snap. <laughs> I do break. I'm well aware of my lines. I don't think I need to push them to the point of, I, I figured it out. <laughs> we can stop pushing now, shit. I think I'm good. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh we're good. I was like, we got to stop ruining his face. He has graduation to go to. Oh my god, we gotta stop ruining his face. He got a nosebleed on graduation. Oh, I know. Hey, Mark, bestie, I just want to point it out to you you're doing the same thing over and over again. Can you come up with a different plan besides zooming at him? There we go. There we go, buddy. That's that good shit. There we go. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> That's not how foundations work. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln once said, Whatever you are, be a good one. Uh, did he, though? Did he really say that? It doesn't sound very Lincoln y. <laughs> if he had a reaction channel, I would watch that shit. <laughs> uh, his side, his snarky ass side comments. Are kind of my energy, and I fuck with that. If he had his own YouTube, I'd be on there. <laughs> Speaking of which, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Double check if you are. Sometimes I show up in your recommended or homepage so often, you don't realize you never hit subscribe. Just double check real quick. Just be like, oh shit, scoot, 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 with your scroll wheel or on your phone, scoot, 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 and be like, oh my god, that's a button. And if you're like, oh my god, I already hit that subscribe button, Bessie, hit the bell. Oh my god, I already hit the bell, Bessie. Then you gotta go and you gotta hit, you gotta hit the like button. Oh my god, I already hit the like button. Well, shit, type W in the comment section and then hit the send button. Oh, but I already left a comment. Leave a second one. W, hit send. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Listen, almost every motherfucker I know skips that damn intro that I do, okay? You look at me right now. You're watching this shit. You can't skip it. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Some secrets should never be revealed, Justine. Oh. <laughs> Damn. We're not getting the refund on that cap. Invincible. I'm glad they gave it to me earlier this episode. Last episode, I was like. <laughs> Oh, her house is so pretty. I love it. I don't feel any different. It's graduating high school, not losing your virginity. Amber, summer plans. Go. <laughs> I want you to look at Eve's eyes. <laughs> why, why does Eve look horrified? When he said, it's not losing your virginity. Why does she look like that? Bestie, are you good? <laughs> Didn't you lose it to Rex? <laughs> I just assumed you did. I think the reason why I can't hate Amber is because I am Amber. 
except for the fact that she went full psycho. But I was full psycho when I was like in middle school slash high school. But <laughs> so maybe I relate. Maybe that's why I can't hate her. You know what I mean? Like I mellowed out and I became a good person as an adult. I don't think I was full. I think I was a little bit of a shithead <laughs> when I was younger. I was definitely unstable. I was a weird ass kid. Anyway, <laughs> so I think that's why I can't truly hate her because there's so many parts of her where I'm like, oh, I used to do the same thing. I get it. And then there's so many parts where I'm like, oh, but the way you fucked it with your man's head like that, I don't respect it. I think you a foul ass bitch for that. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard out here. Giles is the real deal. Do you even know your state comptroller? I don't even know what a state comp. Oh my god. If he had a YouTube channel where he reviewed the reality TV shows he watched, I would be on that shit. I would. Oh my god. I would watch it. Oh, I need to do that. I need to. I need to do a series. I need to do a reaction series where. We watch trashy reality television and we react, but we get overly parasocially invested into each mo fucking person. Instead of being like, oh, it's trash reality, it's whatever. We get weirdly cringily over invested. And then we start being like, oh, bitch, you don't, mm, he don't deserve your pussy. And we start saying crazy shit. Oh my God, the dream. Please tell Amber <laughs> property I'll put on the second channel, not this one. I'm gonna go help finish the reconstruction Probably which is a perfect time to plug the second channel alicia x death you're currently watching alicia x life alicia x death is my other channel i post two videos every single day on that channel three videos a day on this one two videos a day on that one that's right five videos a day do i have a social life not anymore i do this all the time so i hope you check it out <laughs> maybe if you don't have a social life too you can come check it out leave a comment that'll be a social link for the day I got you, bestie. <laughs> a savage. It's okay. Someone's got to fix up Chicago after what his dad did to his face in it. <laughs> Honestly. Bad guys in the face. Oh. Seems cathartic. Right now, I'm just happy helping people. Speaking of. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> He's such a shady bitch and I live for it. <laughs> I <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Martian problem isn't gonna fix itself. They were gonna execute us. We, we barely got off that rock alive. Come on, they were trying to save their planet. From their own slaves. Okay, clearly he's the imposter, and he's a sussy baka. And if we don't eject him now, we got a problem. <laughs> I voted. Did you vote? Why did the votes tie? Who? Have you been standing there? Not that it matters, because I have nothing to hide. Well, I, uh, listen, son, I know things haven't been easy since Mars. After what you all went through up.
Oh my god. He literally said three. <laughs> can we? Can please? Can you? Christ on a Christmas tree. No one's killing anybody. How are we? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this level of stupidity is just accurate. <laughs> It's just accurate. Oh my god, motherfuckers really do be this stupid not figuring shit out. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. This is... I, I swear to god, this is the perfect example of those dudes in YouTube comments who are like, pre-watcher, how else would she get that? And it's like, no, motherfucker, you're just stupid. <laughs> like... There's a difference. I figured shit out because I'm watching the show. Just because you did it doesn't mean, oh my god. Because you didn't figure it out doesn't mean that I pre-watched. It just means you're a fucking dumbass. Oh my god. This is so painful. What are we Also, if someone fired me in a washroom or told me to take a leave of absence in a washroom, the, the swiftness I would go to HR for that is insanely high. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Excuse you, bitch. I live in that building. And if it was up to the bureaucrats, we'd be sleeping in high school gyms until Labor Day. <laughs> <laughs> I I love me a good mom energy ass bitch where she like mm -mm, oh hell no sweetie hold my purse I'm gonna go chew this motherfucker out no come here bitch come here come here bitch <laughs> we have a talking to Aww. I mean, this is just so heartwarming because I just binged the Adam Eve special and then I watched episode one and now we're on episode two right now, all in one sitting. So just seeing anything with Eve in it just makes me so happy. Oh, it's so cute. The little girl's like doing it as well. Oh, that's, a, that's so sweet. I love that. Hey, Mom. No, no. Oh. Oh, it's something to do with Dad? Oh, something happened to Daddy? Yeah. Okay, also true. How about we take a little break? I found some crazy deals online. I'm, I'm thinking beach trip. You and me. Somewhere tropical with a, a fancy hotel. I want that. <gasps> oh. Do you know what actually is really good about the sentiment? Is the moment that he realizes what the fuck he did because he just listened to a Cecil order instead of actually thinking for himself and just being like basically 
a robot for Cecil and how what he did fucked up the entire plan to help better his dimension, that will radically change him. And he'll be like, oh shit, Cecil doesn't always know best. Oh, I should actually be questioning authority. I should be thinking for myself and making decisions. So this conversation is actually pretty vital to like him understanding his thought process and how he blindly like follows authoritative figures because he lacks his own father figure right now too. And he needs that presence in his life. So him blindly following Cecil's direction because he feels lost himself makes sense. And once that gets shattered by the reality of what he did because of Cecil's orders will help a lot. Say it. Oh, I'm, just, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Mark, I need you. Thank God. That is so heartbreaking. Because, like... Oh, no. They're both in such a fragile state of, like not knowing how to communicate properly with each other and then her vocalizing something that he's already insecure about even if she's saying the polar opposite of that since she brought it up in the first place that kind of in that kind of like validates his insecurity because it even came across her mind in the first place which means that it's a thought that has crossed her mind so he feels like that's oh my god that is so heartbreaking because like in the situation we're like no mark no your mom meant well but like you have to also understand from his perspective it's like if you're like, imagine one of your largest insecurities, and if someone's like, oh, but you're, like, not that, and they just bring it up that in particular, you're like, oh, fuck, why are they bringing up, why are they addressing my insecurity so directly? Do they actually think it's true? You'll think the polar opposite, because it's, you're projecting how you feel about yourself in that instance about that issue onto the other person who's talking to you, even if they're saying the opposite. That's, that's a difficult thing to kind of work your way through. Fuck that cabinet! being that guy and now we've got you Ugh, fuck my life yeah y'all do need the training though <laughs> dang they fucking in there oh she fucking somebody else oh no do you think it's monster girl and that guy oh no oh no he's gonna see little him fucking never mind it was kate never mind Who's fucking her in there? Are you shitting me? You goddamn geriatric. <laughs> oh, yeah, someone was fucking her in there. <laughs> All right. I thought it was the other two. I thought it was Monster Girl and the other dude, maybe. No, it was definitely. <laughs> That's crazy. Honestly, <laughs> he does have gilf energy. Sexy, chiseled gilf energy with his nipples too far to the sides. That's okay. Look how far to the sides these nipples are. Hold on. Where are these nipples going? To the armpits? Where are those nipples going? <laughs> where, are they, where are they going? Where are they, for the people to filter on. Where are they going? Look at these nipples. Where are they going to? Narnia? <laughs> Fish are whack. <laughs> Martian man. He may have come from the stars, but Martian man will always be one of That could be you, you goofy bitch. Oh, he got inspired. That's nice. Don't let Cecil find out about your existence though. That could be a problem. <sighs> City. 
virtual no man's land since the midnight magician cursed it back in 02. I'm sorry. I'm gonna just hit the <laughs> reverse real quick. Cecil, it costs you like, was it millions or billions of dollars every time he teleports? And y'all could not give Mark and his family a good income? Debbie had to be sifting through deals for a vacation? They better be, they should be rolling in squeeze. There's no fucking way that they should be struggling for any sort of money. Looking for a good deal. They should be getting, mm -hmm. I just realized that now. So when you say cursed, is that like a metaphor or? Oh, it's actually cursed. Oh. Honestly? It's like night mode. <laughs> hey, it's fun. Oh, I'll say it's fun, but then that the show body is instantly after. <laughs> that makes it a little awkward. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Somebody help me. What in the knockoff Batman and Gotham are we doing here? <laughs> this is the most budget dark night I've ever seen. What the fuck? Oh my god. Did you see his cape? Oh, did you see his outfit? Oh my god, he actually is a budget Batman. Father Invincible, which is why I carry on his work. I was Night Boy, his assistant. Oh, He was the Robin to the Batman, and now he's edgy. It actually is a plot line for one of the DC comics, though. A lot of the DC comics. There's a lot of times where Batman dies and Robin starts pulling up like a gangster. So I feel like on his own type beat. So, I mean, that's not even... I mean, that just... You just... Okay. <laughs> he said we... Oh, he crazy. Nice. So watch it. Huh? Boo. That's what I would do. I'll just start fucking with him. Oh, he'd say boo. I mean, I, I'm I'm that corny. I would. Oh, that's cool. I am the shadows. That's a cool kick. Oh, actually, this fight sequence is kind of, this is actually kind of sick, though. <laughs> dark things here. Hungry things. Even I don't dare to stay too long. Hungry things here, like hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> like, fucking stop! Someone stop this man from monologuing. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Oh! I mean, he's bluffing, but I love it. It'd be kind of cool if he wasn't, though. I'm not for Mark to take a life. All right. Oh, I'm glad you lost him, Cecil, because if you heard him on that microphone, that would have been kind of crazy.
Oh. <laughs> because of you he only gets one of those he's barely 18 Cecil fuck you I'm sorry <laughs> that came from a place that came from a place of oh my god if I saw a child who just lost their father figure and instantly started working for an older man who has power. Oh. <laughs> and you think that's a you think that's a healthy power dynamic to have with that child who's fragile, who's going through some shit? Oh, I'm gonna smack the nonsense out of him. Oh, I hate this motherfucker. Oh, I snapped at that too. What is with mo fuckers being the coldest bitch in the room? How many? No, no, you do not get to say that. You, okay, Debbie misspeaking, Mark misspeaking. These are acceptable. The teenagers who Mark's friends with, them misspeaking, acceptable. Do you know why? Because either the, they're teenagers who don't know how to communicate properly because they're still growing, or they're Debbie and Mark who've been through one of the greatest traumas of their life that they're still grieving the loss of the people that died, but grieving the man that they once knew. If they say something wrong, it's acceptable because they're just trying to get through their shit. You, motherfucker, have no right. I'm going to smack him. I'm going to smack him. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna <laughs> smack the rest of that hairline off, bitch. Pow! Right in the back of the head, because your hairline's that far back. Fuck you. <laughs> you can't trust him. What then? That won't happen. I wish I believed you. <laughs> Debbie, I meant what I said about looking out for Mark. No, no, you're filled with lies and motivations that are self-serving. You lying as fugly ass bitch. She is saying everything right in this scenario. Fuck you. <laughs> no, he doesn't. What do you mean he's he just turned 18 and graduated high school? What do you mean he calls the shots? Are you stupid? Or you're just pretending to be. Because I'm pretty sure you're pretending to be. He doesn't have... Listen, a lot of us could have been responsible and, and mature at 18. But that doesn't mean that if we lost our fucking parent, who also made our face collide with hundreds of people as they, they murdered them with our face muscles, that, that we're in the right headspace to be able to make shots. Mm, fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still mad. I'm still, I'm still mad. Listen, I fully believe that there's people out there that like when you're a teenager and lost maybe one of your parents or something that you're able to pull through and persevere and call your own shots. I agree. There are people like that. Th in this scenario, it's not that though. This is not, this is, this is the default, not the exception. There are people out there who can't handle that shit though. And W to them, but that's an exception. I'm pretty sure we thought he was dead. <laughs> Didn't your spine go kerkunk? Okay. She was just leaving. Oh, he a clone. That was Donald. Oh my god, he's cloned so bad. His he doesn't even know about his other clone self getting fucked up. on Samantha dad what are you doing in a burger mart shirt 
It's called an honest day's work. Oh my god. He's gonna say some fuck shit to her. Not that you would ever know about that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, fuck these motherfuckers for real. Oh my god. Ugh. Listen, as somebody who worked in customer service and the food industry for too many fucking years of my life, okay? Stop comparing your job to other people's jobs. Every job has difficulties, okay? The amount of racist motherfuckers I had to deal with, especially when I was serving in fine dining. <laughs> some of them say some shit where you're like, in this day and age? <laughs> Shit, I didn't realize my skin was so dark we could call me that, but that's cool. Fine, okay. Didn't realize that we went back to the 1920s real quick and I, I could only get into the speakeasies by performing music, but shit, okay then, fine, whatever. I didn't even realize we were in that situation. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like every job has different difficulties, exhaustion, emotional exhaustion, physical exhaustion. So, discrediting somebody else, for example, she's doing a lot of good work out there, fixing up Chicago right now, and still comes and checking on her own family. So, it's like, if he's going to give even a single fuck, like, oh, well, blah, 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 you have it so easy with your powers, but I'm working an honest job unlike you. It's like, fuck you, man. Like, that's your kid. <laughs> Can we just, like, chill out for a day and just be happy she came home? Oh, shit, he radicalized. Oh, okay. Stubborn for no reason. I said change it back. Oh, it's about him feeling like a man because he doesn't want the handout because he feels like he's irrelevant to the family. And he feels like if he can't provide, then that means he's not a real man. It's his own it's his own issues, man. Again, I get it. People have their own insecurities. And he himself it feels like he's failed as a father. Right? And he's like, shit, I failed as a father. I failed in raising like in raising this family in a better condition to the point where my own daughter ran off and I said fucked up shit to you when you left. And the least I can do is provide for this family. And I've been providing for this family this whole time. And if I lose that, then that means I truly failed in every aspect. That's what he's going through. Okay. Okay. He's not just a dickhead to be a dickhead. He's extremely insecure about that. Yeah. That's why he can't handle the handout. That's, that's difficult. I don't know. Like, I, I understand the dad a lot there. It's, it, there's a certain level of, like, and, like, no matter how, like, open-minded I am about gender norms and, like, when it, when it comes to just, like, gender identity, I don't really give a fuck what gender you are. It's, like, be who you are and your gender shouldn't play a part of it. But there are things that are important to one's identity. And that includes, if you're born as a cis man, a, like, a white cis man, you deserve to feel proud as a white cis man. And I hate it so much when people shit on white men for just being born as a white man. Listen, I know I'm a woman of color. Yes, I know I've been oppressed in my life. That doesn't mean every fucking white man I walk into is a terrible person. And I, ref and I refuse to let that even be a normal thing to say about people. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, make a white joke here and here, like here and there that everyone can laugh on together. But to like actually go after a demographic in particular is fucking stupid. And I want to say this in particular because there's also a part of self-identity that's important to talk about. When it comes to being a proud white man, there's a part of it that should not be shunned out the way that it is currently done. And just like anyone, just like anyone wants to be a proud black man, a proud woman, a proud anything that you are. You have the right to be proud of your identity. And a part of that sometimes comes when it comes to providing, when it comes to nurturing. And you need to understand that that part of his identity is strong to him. He wants to be a nurturer. He wants to be a provider to the point where he can't handle the handout. And that doesn't make him less of a person. That doesn't make him like 
That doesn't make him like a piece of shit in that regard. Mind you, his parenting style and parenting skills are shit. But when it comes to that aspect of his life and not wanting the handout, it's his pride as a man. And it's his pride of like even his status of like what he identifies himself as. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to put that out there. And listen, we can make we can make race jokes all we want, but there's a difference between making race jokes and under having some fucking empathy towards people, you know? Just making just putting that out there. Because I will make some race jokes here and there and be a little splinky. But no fucking way are we gonna start targeting people. Like that shit's bullshit. State finances. It's critical work and hello? Hello? I think you need a new slogan. That doesn't have the word audit in it or it <laughs> yeah that is a better slogan I honestly love that for her. Yay! Is he taking you to Italy? For their pizza? Like how Omni Man did that for Debbie? Oh, whatever he's actually taking her. Where are we? Are we in Paris? Are we in Vegas? <laughs> yeah, we're in Vegas. Yeah, so it's just Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I got that one. I got that one pretty quick. <laughs> okay. You only get an No. Take her to the heart attack grill. Eat some big ass burger and fries. <laughs> I like your skin. Any of the perks. <laughs> That's cute. Mark, I need you. Give me a sec. <sighs> Dinner tonight instead. Thank you. Good. At least someone's telling him that. Good. Hey, you have to take her back. Oh, good. <laughs> I was like, uh, that's all cute and all, but she's, uh, this is not good. <laughs> According to Atlantean custom, the only way to atone for the king's murder is to marry his widow. What? It's an honor. <laughs> yeah, that's a good... What? <laughs> Consummate it? <laughs> That's exactly what he was asking. He was asking you to consummate it. <laughs> that means fuck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that she got nice freaky fish titties. <laughs> it's very important. Nice freaky fish titties. No? Yes? This <laughs> I need to stop doing the hand motion. <laughs> Sorry. Back to the Lizard League. <laughs> They've hit a bio research lab outside of Dallas. How? We got King Lizard rotting in a prison cell. Uh, it appears that Supreme Lizard has seized control in his absence. Oh my god. Send in the Who's this one? 
a mimic? <laughs> okay, I love that. That was perfect. The moment he did the flare, <laughs> it just got instantly punched. Kind of perfect. So, where this? A face cup, kind of like the one for your penis and balls when you play baseball. You're welcome, <laughs> but for breathing. <laughs> She does have fish titties. She's got big old fish titties. I was half joking. But she does got big old flubbery wobbly fish titties. My goodness, the omega-3 fatty asses on them boobies are great. <laughs> Oh, he's an air breather like it's a slur. That's crazy. And definitely not here in front of everyone. Okay, I, I guess it's kind of awkward, but I have a girlfriend. Her name is Amber, and we're finally in a good place. So even though, you know, you seem super nice. Go off, girl. Oh, good. Love that. Ah, uh, we kill you instead. <laughs> oh. Trial by combat's actually a good option. Oh, man. Imagine if it was just a tiny little baby with these big ass chains and big growls, but it's a little guppy. That'd be kind of funny. I hate, I hate myself. I actually hate myself, man. I hate myself. Do you know why? Because that's my sense of humor. <laughs> they write the show with my sense of humor in mind. They understand me so intrinsically. It's so stupid. This is such a stupid thing to predict. But it's like the hopes of my brain. Because I'm like, what well, would be a funny moment? <laughs> this for the reveal. <laughs> and then they just do it. And it's like, oh, how do I... I and then there's gonna be comment, oh, she fucking pre-watched this. Why? Why would I? <laughs> right? This is such a stupid, I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh my God. It's your baby. Oh no, is that like the bait and the big boys underneath? You know, there's like angler fishes that have like the little bulby thingy and it tracks the bait. And then the fish go, Ang! and then it's actually a big, and then it eats a... <laughs> Hi, I'm Alicia. You choose to watch my channel. Um, That's on you. And I can't be blamed for how weird I am. Thank you. <laughs> Called it! <laughs> Damn, even the mailbox? Seriously? The cupboard and the mailbox? Ooh.
<laughs> Yay, we're getting ready to be realtors again. Oh, is this Olga's house? This looks so much like Olga's house, it just threw me off. There's excellent local transit. Of course I don't. I just think... It's not happening. When you earn the money, you can decide where we live. Chat, hold my earrings. Hold my earrings, chat. They're coming off, bitch. They come... Hold them. Bitch, hold them. Come here, chat. Come here. Hold the earrings. All right, bitch, ugly-ass cargo shorts, head-ass, bitch-ass motherfucker with the ugly-ass frames. What, you talking about making all this money for the family? Yet you don't even know how to get proper eyeglasses frames for your face? Mm -mm. No, you don't, bitch. Why? Because you don't know fashion sense with the cargo pants. How old are you, by the way? Too old to be looking that stupid and goofy with the shirt tucked in? Oh, but don't worry. It's not that nice of a shirt anyways because we got what? Off-brand teal pastel teal? What's wrong with you? You couldn't commit to aqua? Oh, you couldn't commit to blue? Why? Because you're too ugly for that. That's why. Your ugly ass attitude. Your ugly ass pants. What shoes you got on, bitch? Let me see those shoes. Let me see. Let me eat this man up. Oh, oh, he got the low ankle cut slip-ons, bitch. Oh, you so ugly with your white vans. Shut up, bitch. Oh, I got the slides on, honey. I got no ass and a red wrist strap watch. You don't even got a smart watch with your goofy ass. Oh, but he thought it looked so good. It don't even match your frames and your glasses. Ugh, what? What's wrong with you? Oh, I hate this man. No booty cheek having ass, bitch. No, make, oh, and you have the, if you have the audacity to say that about your woman, oh, no, mm. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'll take my earrings back, chat, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, she said exactly how she feels. That's exactly the same shit Omni Man said about her. That she's a pet. Oh. In the spacious garage. Why don't you all go ahead? I'll meet you there in a jiffy. The way he grabbed her arm. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? I'll call you later. The way he grabbed her arm. Oh no! Oh no! Mm -mm, I can't! I can't! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Man, <laughs> this, is, this is a problem with me, though, because even when I worked, like, the, the thing about one of the jobs I worked at, too, when I was a waitress, was I was the highest alcohol sales, so they couldn't get rid of me no matter what. <laughs> and sometimes you just got to snap back just a little bit, though, but you got to keep it classy. You can't just be like, oh, bitch, what the fuck, blah, blah, blah. You can't do what I'm doing currently. You have to be like, oh... I hope you realize that this establishment, we don't condone this. We actually have rules against that. So if you're going to act this way, I'll have to ask you to leave. And you just, you slow talk the fuck out of them and make them feel small. You small little insignificant fuck. That's what you do. That's what you do. Because nothing hurts more than their fucking inflated egos. Because they're like, oh, I make all this fucking money. Right? All this fucking money. Right? And I'm like, you Ugly bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna make you feel like the small little man you are, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> and then you hit them with a, sorry. <laughs> Just really get under their skin. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, that's breaking. Never mind. Okay, I thought the chain was gonna break. Do you think the tail's made out of like lobster meat? 
Could we eat that? Whoa, sonar shit. Oh my god, ooh! Episode 3032! Mark getting his ass beat! That's not doing shit to that guy. That's really not doing shit to- Oh my god, it broke the chain. Oh my god, it broke the chain! Cecil, you fucking dickweed! <laughs> Oh, and now it's eating the fish people. Oh, how you like your sashimi, Cecil? To die. <clears throat> they tried to kill you. They were cheering. All they wanted was justice for what my dad did. Yeah. Which is why he's gonna go back down there and save those fucking fish people. Uh, Cecil? You're the biggest monster here, motherfucker. That's it, baby boy. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm fucking saying. Oh, damn. Oh, she trying. Oh, nice animation for that. That's clean. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Okay, do it again. Oh, hoo, hoo, Oh, damn! That reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine when you do the oh, when you do in Pianta Village, and it's the it's the portal on top of the Shine Sprite Gate, and you go inside that one. And it's the one that's called Chain Chop Bath, and you gotta pull the Chain Chop into the bath, the hot tub, and then it gets all golden and toasty because you gotta pull the chain with like the little with the little like wooden part on the little little thing on the end. Yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> It's a, it's a weird fucking reference, but my god, it's what I thought of. <laughs> ah! Didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. Oh, wow. I thought he was done done. When you know that she keeps sucking, I'm sorry. That squirty cell was crazy. The next time I give you an order, you listen. Oh, what was that about him having his own shot calls when you were talking to Debbie? Oh, that he can make his own decisions and he calls his own shots. Oh, what was that, Cecil? You fucking lying bitch. What'd you say? Oh, what'd you say to Debbie again? Well, could you run it by me one more time? Could you run it by me one more time? That's what I thought, bitch. Distressed person. Heck of a number no one did on her. Who knows what's going through her head? Anything else, Donald? Donald, I hope you have a heart to heart with Debbie and she tells you the truth. I hope that you being a little sus 
Oh, Cecil Cecil knows that you sus about it. Oh, oh, wow, they threw out all the foods. They throw out the baguette bread? Listen, those breads get hard after like a day or two max. You could have at least tried to eat some of it. It's going to go bad anyways. And the golden apple. I can't even put that shit. Oh, Okay, good. No, see, like you you were so close to getting it right cuz you cuz he was he was felt he felt heard until you challenged his manhood. You got to let It's so stupid and toxic whenever we don't let like if gen, like listen Respecting genders means respecting all genders. If he wants to abide by, like, things that make him feel comfortable in his gender norms, let him. There is nothing wrong with that of him wanting to be a provider. You just have to appeal to it more and be like, listen, if you want to pay me back over time, even though you have no intention of getting paid back, say that to him. Say anything that will help better his situation. Just don't do this. This is not the move. Oh, yeah? Like you help Chicago? Adam, don't. What? <clears throat> the whole lot was unstable. That's why the city never built. <gasps> oh my God. See, again, he's projecting. I don't agree with anything that he's saying here obviously like common sense we don't agree with him he's fucked up and saying this to your child even more demented right but the the butt isn't even about excusing his behavior the butt is understanding his behavior and he's just such a small little shitty man when it comes to like his his ideology about the world how about you sit down your daughter and you educate her and you talk about how working with officials and working side by side with people instead of doing it independently could cause a better outcome. And how if you learned about the infrastructure of the area instead of coming in to just tap it once and fix the problem would have actually helped make a better solution. You could have been a parent and had that conversation. But no, you had to guilt trip your child. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, are you serious? Like, what? This is, it's so, he's so stupid stupid but the thing about it he's consistently stupid he's been that stupid from the day she was born <laughs> so <sighs> i'm going through it i um... hey girly oh wait, back open back up oh oh she's gonna start getting angry at it and start hitting it harder and harder isn't she oh that's what i would do I start breaking, I start. Yep, that's, that's, I do the same thing. Yep, yep. Yep, let it out, girly. I got you. Mm-hmm. I do the same thing when I have breakdowns. I get it. Go off, queen. I mean, I don't start breaking up furniture and shit, but I start, I start hitting things. And I start shrieking into my pillow like, it, like someone's murdering me. That's what I do. That's how I cope. Oh, you little baby boy saw that. Okay, okay. Not good. Not good. At least we're going to have an open to conversation. Maybe some healing. Oh, no healing. She doesn't want her to, him to see her like this. Oh, no. No. That's exactly what she needs. She just needs to... Man. That's... <coughs> That's what I said in episode one. I was like, oh, go hug your mom. I was like, oh. I'm glad he did there. That's good.
I swore to use my abilities for good and to help people and to protect my planet. You know what? I love that he's just a generic Marvel character. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> The Marvel fanboys are out here. They're like already typing furiously while slobbering at the mouth. I can't believe she said that. <laughs> Don't you find it funny in Iron Man 3 when his alcoholism gets in the way of his interpersonal relationships? That shit is hilarious. Like, okay, man. <laughs> All right, buddy. Iron Man 1 was sick, though, but go off, King, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Yep. Yes, it was my plan. But we are not a joke. <laughs> no matter what social media says. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> One second. One, One second. Lizard. <laughs> what are they called? Lizard what? <laughs> What's the name of their group again? Lizard something? <laughs> Hold on, I'm taking you guys out of emote only. I just need to remember what the name of their group is real quick. I just need to social media this shit real quick. Hold up. Lizard what? <laughs> Lizard League. Thank you. Lizard League. <laughs> Ain't shit. On. On G. For real, for real. <laughs> hashtag. Uh, invincible. Do they have a hashtag? Oh. No? Does it not have a hashtag? Okay, whatever. <laughs> there you go, buddies. <laughs> just just had to make that a little a little bit better. <laughs> there we go. Now you're back in e mode only. There you go, buddies. <laughs> Thanks, chat. <laughs> oh, he just said it! I should have just hit play so I can figure out their name. Oh, okay. That's my bad. I got way too. I got caught up. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm sorry, they aren't even using the same hand to. Okay, whatever. Oh, he got shot. Oh. If anyone is going to turn this I mean shit, that's one way to s conflict resolution does work with guns. <laughs> shit, hi, <I ain't> fair. <laughs> Instead of calling it conflict resolutions, we call it solutions instead. And they just wore me down. Bought me when I finally had to sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Boss bitch Cecil? Kinda looks like this. Hold on, we got references, we got references. Hold on, wait a second, let me cook. Let me cook. Okay, uh, oh, hold on, it's a very specific- Oh, there we go. Meryl Streep in Devil Wears Prada. Hold on, look. Don't, don't, 
Stay with me, folks. Uh-huh. You see it? You see it, right? Spot the difference. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Me? I'm not your problem. Then whose problem are you? Well, now we in the wrong world, and that's a problem. But okay, then. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching, YouTube. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for your love and support, always. And we'll see you later. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, 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 you, 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 you. Don't go to the next video. Don't go to the next video. Subscribe, bitch. Okay, we're good. Bye.